Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Come it like a cherry. Come it like a cherry. Your oh, boy done switched up on you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look, if it's your very first time to this channel, run over there and subscribe for us. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you'll be notified each and every time we upload a video. And then, welcome to this little family and these good eats. Natural part of us, y'all, there's some things that we do. And we do them every day because they help us grow. Those things are comment, comment, comment like a share and go for the team. Comment, like, share, and go for the team. Comment, like, share, and don't forget to comment, like, share. Comment, like, share. Comment, like, share. Don't forget to comment, like, share. Comment, like, share. Comment, like, share. Don't forget to. Don't forget to comment, like, share. Okay, you guys, check this out. We'll go ahead and pray, and we'll get into the goodness. Here we go. Amen. How y'all doing today? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Okay, you guys. Check this out. Today, we have got pig tails, baby. Pig tails. We've also got some cornbread, some skillet bread. I got the juice from the mixed vegetables all over it. We got our jalapenos. That's what we've been eat. Guess what? Over here to the side. Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. Big Ben is to help us out, y'all. Because, baby, we're going to get to eating. You guys, Big Ben has got southern sweet tea in him. That's what he's got. Sweet tea. You guys, let's see if he's refreshing. Mmm, 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 yes, yeah, okay, you guys, check this out, over here to the side, I've got crushed red pepper, and I've got my lips hot sauce, and if you would like your bottle, make sure you look in the description box, it's in blue, and it's way up at the top, so you can't miss it, get your bottle, because baby, we're going to get down with it, okay, y'all, we got this cornbread here. I've been telling y'all something. Baby, let's get eating first. Let me give me something to eat first. So y'all, y'all, it's hot. It's steaming. I'm gonna crush this old cornbread up over in this mixed vegetables. It's so soft, y'all. It just came out of the oven. That's gonna be the first bite. See the cornbread there? Mixed vegetables, baby. I ain't gonna say it. Where my cornbread go? Okay, there it go. I ain't gonna say y'all. You know you're on the right channel, baby. You know you're on the right channel. <laughs> y'all, I'm sorry. But y'all, I'm so hungry. I'm going to tell y'all something. I, it is around 1 15 at night. We're well, in the morning. You're going to get this at 9. Y'all, y'all know we're quarantined. Mmm, that was a lot. I got a big old piece of jalapeno. Mmm, mm mm mm. Okay, y'all. We gotta talk today. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Y'all, this cornbread so good. Look at it. Now, look at it on this side. It's brown, baby. Mmm. <laughs> y'all haven't made skinny bread in a long time. It's good. Okay, let's get these pigtails. Let's get some hot sauce on. Let me throw it to you before I put the hot sauce on it. Y'all know how y'all are. Hold up. Mm. There you go. There's your pigtail. Thumbnail. Okay. Excuse me. I'm probably going to cut that out. Okay, y'all, let's get it. Y'all, like I said, it's about 1.15 in the morning. You will get this video around 9. So, I'm so late recording the video because, you know, we quarantined. Let me give y'all some with the hot sauce on it. There you go, there you go, there you go, baby. <laughs> Here we go, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Mm. Y'all, we're quarantined, and right now, my daughter's education, 
Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Yeah, it's so good. My daughter's education, you know, is basically being homeschooled right now. Y'all, I don't have understanding stuff. Like, I can help her with the work. But y'all, I don't have to understand how to get into these programs. You got to email the teacher back and forth. Mm. And y'all, I just don't understand. These children got some work these days. Lilith is in the first grade. And y'all, there's some of the stuff that she's doing, but I just don't know. Like, these children are so advanced right now. When it comes down to schooling and stuff, y'all, it's rough. And then, they have so much work. Oh. Y'all, it took me forever to get done what we did get done. But she's so smart. I saw that. She's so smart. When I finally do get her to where she's going, she just zip right through it, y'all. Mm -hmm. Y'all, deep pigtail. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. I have been in the pot smoldering all day. Y'all have had a long day. Lilith, her teacher was saying her work. Y'all, I'm so sorry. I saw it. Mm. I didn't need to calm down some. But, like I said, it's once up in the morning. Mm. Lilith's teacher emailed her work on the 24th. Well, y'all, I didn't see it to today. And it's got to be turned in tomorrow. And it was so much work. In so many different areas. But we got it done. Almost. We'll have it done tomorrow by two. We will. <laughs> oh. That jalapeno hot. Mm. We'll get it done, y'all. But honey, I'm telling you. Your boy, these teachers is doing their job. They really are. They're doing their job, y'all. These children are learning. Like, little is doing stuff in the first grade. Like, I don't think you're supposed to get to, like, the fifth or sixth grade, y'all. What the flick is going on? But she got it. She got it, y'all. It's me sitting there in disbelief. Mm-hmm. I'm telling y'all, she got so much going on. I'm learning from it. Hey! <laughs> yes, I am. Mm. Mm. Y'all, these pigtails are so tender. They're so tender, y'all. They've been smoldering the pot for hours. And I mean hours. I had my bread in the oven. I ran in the bathroom. I put it on broil, y'all. I ran in the bathroom. On the phone. To brush my teeth. Baby, I came back. This old bread was golden, golden brown. Yes, it was. I had some greens I was going to eat. But, y'all, I eat that all the time. Today, I had a taste for mixed vegetables. You know, I eat greens all the time. So, I went to something a little different today, and then I thought about someone cooked me some bread today. When I put that mixed vegetables up there, I poured the juice over this good cornbread, honey. It's magnificent. It really is. Mmm. 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 -hmm. The hot sauce got my nose running again, y'all. 
Dakario. Since you like them pig ears. Honey, if you don't like them or you hadn't tasted them, go get some pig tails now. They're real easy to cook. Just put you some season up in the water, a little butter. And let them set there, honey. You'll love them. Trust me. They're magnificent. Get you another bite of them. Get you a bite. Get you a bite. Get you a bite. Get you a bite. Oh, excuse me, y'all. You want a bite with a hot sauce on it? There you go. There it is. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Y'all just falling apart. Mmm. Mmm. But back to what I was saying. Y'all, these kids is learning a lot. Like, the school system now is so advanced. Like, <laughs> the little of her school always had, like, the iPads. <clears throat> like, the iPads. You know, to help them learn. But getting in and out of maneuvering in and out of the programs, y'all, is the problem. Once you get to it, you're good. But maneuvering in and out of these programs, man, man, man. I guess I'm too old. Because I'm sitting there looking dumbfounded, y'all. And then when I finally get into it, I'm like a kid in a candy store. Yay! I'm trying to control my voice, y'all. Little lips is over there asleep. I done said a few things already and she done turned over. I'm trying to wake up. We did work today for hours. Until she just lay down and said, I'm going to sleep. For real. I couldn't stop it, y'all. We got a lot done, though. We really did. We got a lot done. And I'm trying to get up here and eat this food. Because I got to eat it. And all that. But anyway. I got something I want to talk to y'all about today. Because y'all, y'all see how I murked a part of that food? Y'all was hungry. I ain't ate all day long. And like I said, it's one time in the morning. I'm waiting to get over here to shoot this mukbang for you. For you. For my lead, Jan. I love you guys so, so much. And I got to come and see y'all. But I got some talk about that, y'all. Mmm. 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 But yeah, it's good. It's good. Oh. Mmm. 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 Yeah, it's just good. It's just good. Mmm. Oh, Lord. The first thing I want to do is ask y'all, because I haven't asked you in a while. And I got to check up on you. I really do. I want to ask you, how are you treating yourself? Have you looked in the mirror lately? And asked yourself how you treat yourself? You know, I would tell you it's a valid question. How are you treating yourself? Sometimes, y'all, life gets going on. It gets going on and going on and going on. We have so much going on. We have so much responsibility. We have so many things we have to do. That we... <coughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Woo! Oh, Big Ben had to save me again, y'all. But y'all, we life gets to going on. And we forget sometimes what we need. You know, we get so involved with making sure our kids are okay. My significant others, okay. In my case, husband. In your case, husband, wife, girlfriend, whatever. I saw that, y'all. But I'm talking about something serious. You know, you get to so wound up and involved in making sure that everything is okay with everyone else. But what about you? Or what about me? In the case of what I'm speaking of. I want you guys to stop and think about because you have needs for yourself that you've got to slow down. You've got to slow down and realize that you have needs for yourself. I mean, you really do. That's why I always ask you, how are you treating yourself? Mmm. Mmm. 
Mm. Like I said, we get so caught up in being homemakers or providers or, you know, just simply making sure everybody else is okay. But who's going to make sure you're okay? Mm. In my case, you know, I have a husband, you know, to kind of help me weather the storm, so to speak. But if, even if you have a husband or you have a wife, girlfriend, whatever, significant other, however it is, it still requires a certain amount of attention that only you can give to yourself. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you have some needs in the inside of you that there's no way uh, even your husband wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. Even they can't fulfill for you. So those needs right there, are you taking care of those? Mm, I like that one there better than that one. Are you taking care of those for yourself? Because I'm telling you, there's some needs that you have. Mmm. Mmm. Way down in the inside of you, the way that you want to be treated or the way that you want to be wooed or, you know, caressed or whatever. There's some things in the inside of you that only you can take care of. And that's what I'm speaking to you about today. Are you taking care of yourself? My husband said something to me. The other day, they brought about this conversation, and he said to me that, you know, there's some things in the inside of you that you have to take care of yourself in order to be better for your mate or for the world. So I'm interested in asking my legion, I'm bringing it to you. Are you taking care of the needs for yourself? Because he had a great, great. <clears throat> point in what he said. If you're not totally happy within yourself, or if there's things, goals, um, you know, things about you that you're striving to better within yourself so that you can be better for the next person, whether it be a significant other, or if it just be to be a better person for your coworkers at work, whatever it is. Are you taking care of those things? Y'all, that's deep. That's really deep. And like I said, we get so involved in everything that's going on that we fail to stop and think about our own mental health or our own, you know, fullness. Full circle that is needed for you to be effectively um, or the way that you can effectively love others no, that's not the right way to say it. Um, so that you can effectively be a help to someone else. Whether it be a significant other, whether it be the world. You know, that's the way that it should be put, I guess. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm a little bit all over the place. I think y'all get the picture, though. I think y'all do. Um, but, yeah, I mean, y'all, we have to take care of ourselves in the inside. Because like I said, there's some things about you that only you know how to do for yourself. I mean, oftentimes, you know, we look for others or the world. We look for things to just automatically go right. You know, like when you know that you're putting your all into everything that you do. Raising your children, being a good husband, being a good wife, being a good co-worker at work, or, you know, just whatever your involvement is with the world outside of yourself. When you get so wind up in taking care of that and making sure that that's okay, that we tend to forget what's good for us. You know, what's good for you? What's good for me? And like I said through his question, or his statement, I thought about that thing. 
Y'all yeah, I need to slow down and take care of us. We really, really do. Take care of yourself. Um, because like I said, there's some things that you would never be expressed to a person or a person would never understand what you need. It's deep, y'all. It really is something deep to think about. It really, really is. And I think if you think about it, you understand that there is some parts of you that maybe you've never shared with someone. There is some needs that you have emotionally. They can even be sexually. There's some needs that you have and maybe you can't express. Excuse me, y'all. But I'm really trying to get this point across. There's some needs on the inside of you that no one can rectify but you. That's it. No one can rectify but you. So again, I come back and ask the question. How are you treating yourself? Because when he said it to me, you know what I'm saying? It was a, I really enjoyed um, the thoughtfulness behind it. Because you do need to make sure yourself is healthy in order to be the best that you can be for others. Or oh, for the world, for what God intended you to do for the world. For your light to shine as bright as it can shine. And you know, I realized that I've been really asking you guys this question all along. How have you treated yourself? Baby, that thing came full circle to me. It really did. It came full circle to me, y'all. Mm. Because if you don't treat yourself well, for one, you can't expect others to. And for two, if you don't take care of what you need for yourself, you can't be 100% for anybody else. And that goes for your children, your loved ones, your family, whatever. If you aren't taking care of you, you can't be your best self for anybody else, even for God. If you ain't taking care of you the right way, you can't be your best self for God. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to get up out of here. I know this video is a little shorter than normal. I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. Let me finish this one now. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all, these pigtails with the van. This video, like I said, I had so many thoughts and ideas locked in my head. Trying to express it to you the way that I need to. You know, kind of bring it home. And then I was hungry and wanted this food. Then, like I said, my mind is frazzled from trying to get this work done for the lips. But we're making it, y'all. Y'all, please make sure that you guys are being safe, being safe, being safe. And then these babies is at home, y'all, while they're in our care for the schooling thing, y'all stay on top of it. Stay on top of it. If you're behind, get caught up. Spend the time while you're at home to make sure these babies don't get behind. Mm-hmm. It's stressful, y'all. Especially if you my age. If you my age and you're not just computer savvy, baby, I'm telling you, this stuff will drive you nuts. Mm-hmm. It will drive you nuts, y'all. It really will. God, these children are way more advanced now than we will. What happened to the typewriting classes? You know, the simple stuff, world geography, social studies, science, all that kind of stuff. Baby, they got modern living and this and that and this and that. Baby, where they come from? Where it come from, baby? Baby, I don't understand all that. Give me math. You know how you say it? Give me reading, writing, and arithmetic. <laughs> Give me reading, writing, and rip my teeth. Baby, I'm telling you, these children got classes, name stuff there, baby. I have to think about what it's saying to even know what it's trying to get at. Anyway, y'all love you guys so, so much. You guys make sure that you're being safe. I hope you have enjoyed. I hope you guys have enjoyed. These pigtails were divine. And like I said, I had some old Southern cornbread. Some old Southern cornbread that I made. It was skillet bread, y'all. And I made these mixed vegetables out the can. 
Adding me some potatoes to it. I wanted to add some carrots, but I didn't have any. Add me some potatoes to it. Season it up real good. Put me a little meat in it, honey. And boiled it down to it. Made its own like juice. A little thickness to it. Pour it across that bread and baby. Anyway, y'all, I love y'all so, so much. I know I didn't say that three or four times, but I do. I'm going to keep telling you, and I keep seeing all this stuff, too. That's all right. I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. You guys, make sure you're being safe. I want to make sure I say it to you one more time. The United States has officially passed all of our countries with the uh, spread of the corona. You guys, we've got to do better. We've got to be safe. We're the greatest nation in the world. But that don't mean we got to be the greatest at everything. <laughs> y'all, I'm finna go, I'm finna go, I'm finna go. You guys, make sure, make sure, make sure you guys are taking care of yourself. You guys, this is not a joke, and I do not want you guys sick. You guys, take care of yourself, please. Social distancing, you guys. Wash your hands, wear your gloves. If you haven't, wear your mask. Do whatever that you need to do to make sure that your environment that you're in is safe for you, okay? I love you guys so, so much. I'm going to go this time, okay? Tell my new legion. I thank you guys so, so much for being here. You guys are the amazing. Me and my legion want to say welcome, welcome, welcome. We love you so, so much. And we're glad that you're here with us because you could have been anywhere else in the world. But you chose to be here with us. You hit that button for us. So we want to say thank you and we love you. Mwah! To all my existing legion, you the best in the business, baby. The best in the business. I love you guys so, so much. And y'all, we finna go, okay? Y'all pray for me about this school work. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look. Always remember that there's always more than one way home. When obstacles come up in your life, there's always more than one way home. All you decide to do is get there, you guys. So get there, people, get there. I love you all, and I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're not able to see me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> bye, bye. Mwah. Oh, oh, baby, I was too hungry. I was too hungry and too ready for this video. And like I said, I had so much trapped in my head that I was trying to get out to you, honey. But I don't know if I did good or not. Let me know in the comments. I hope I did. But I hope you really, really got the point. I hope y'all got the point. You guys, you have to take care of yourself, your innermost self, the things that you can't tell anybody about or you don't tell anybody about, whether you have a husband, a significant other or not. There's some things, there's some a part of you that you only discuss between you and God. And since only you and God knows, since you pray to God about that part, or only you and God knows about that part, it's up to you to take care of that part for yourself. Okay? I love you guys so, so much. I'm going to see you next time. Bye-bye. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If you miss one thing, if you miss push that notification button in that bell, you have lied to me, and I know you lied. Here we are.